Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you how I generated a consistent character dataset for AI influencer lore training, starting with just one reference image. When training a lore for influencers, consistency is key. You don't just need random images. You need a dataset that keeps the same face, same identity, and the same style across multiple poses, outfits, and backgrounds. Here, I use a reference image as input and generated hundreds of variations. These include different angles, lighting conditions, and expressions, but all while keeping the character consistent. With this data set in hand, I can now move on to Laura training, which will teach the AI to reproduce this influencer consistently across any prompt or scene. This step is crucial for building an AI influencer persona. And to make things easier for you, I use the Quent image edit workflow inside Comfy UI. I've already added step-by-step -step instructions inside the workflow itself, including model downloads, node installation, and settings. You can download the workflow directly from the link in the description below. Now, let's set up the nodes and models for this workflow. First, we'll start by loading our models using the model loader nodes. Diffusion model. We'll be using the Quen Image Edit FP GGUF version. Clip model for text and prompt understanding. Quen VA for handling image encoding and decoding. Upscale a model to enhance the quality of the generated outputs. Laura Loader Node. This is where we attach the Quen Laura Loader model, which can run at either four steps or eight steps, depending on your setup. And finally, once the models are loaded, we'll upload our reference image. This will guide the workflow to generate a consistent data set around that exact character. Next, let's set up our prompts. Here I'm using the clip text node to write both positive and negative prompts in the positive prompt box. I can add detailed descriptions of the character. I've also attached a prompt writing guide document in the description. That guide includes example prompts, structured tips, and best practices. So you can get consistent and high quality results from your data set generation. The cool part is, this node supports conditional prompts, which means I can actually append multiple prompts together inside the same positive prompt node. That way, I can test variations without creating extra nodes. In the negative prompt box, I'll add instructions for what I don't want, like distorted faces, extra limbs, or low resolution short. Next, I'm adding the case sampler node, which controls how our image is generated. Here. I can set the steps to decide the level of detail, adjust the denoise strength to balance between the reference image and new variations, and fine-tune the diffusion settings for overall quality. I also added a preview image node, so we can instantly see results without completing the entire workflow. And here is one of the generated images. You can see it keeps the character's face and style consistent with the reference, while adding new poses, lighting, and backgrounds. This is exactly what we need to build a strong data set for Laura training. Finally, let's add the SDXL Upscaler node to finish the workflow. For this setup, I'm using the SDXL Epic Realism Checkpoint, which gives a natural and photoreal look, combined with the Skin Diffusion Upscaler, which enhances fine details like skin texture, lighting, and overall sharpness. These are connected with a K-Sampler node to control generation, and an image save node so every result is saved automatically at high resolution. Here are the final upscaled images. As you can see, they stay perfectly consistent with our reference character while adding realistic detail, smooth textures, and crisp quality. This gives us a polished data set, ready for Laura training. And that's it. Our workflow for generating a consistent character data set is complete. Starting from just one reference image, we build a clean, high-resolution data set that's ready for Laura training. I've included the full Comfy UI workflow in the description, along with setup instructions for models, nodes, and prompt writing. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss my upcoming tutorial on actually training the lore with this dataset. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.